Danger Dolan. From hooded figures to secret college clubs for the elite, these are 20 of the most mysterious and reclusive societies ever to control world events from behind the scenes. Number 20. Ordo Templi Orientis, a mystic group from the early 20th century. Their general philosophy? New Age esoteric principles to realize one's true identity, along with their belief in the magic power of masturbation. There was a rule book, a manifesto written by the founder, Alastair Crowley. It was called the Mysteria Mystica Maxima, and in it, there's a whole section dedicated to the adoration of the phallus. Number 19. Cryptea, it was an ancient rite of passage for young Spartan warriors following their formal education. They were stripped of their clothes, armed with naught but a single knife, and told to survive in the wild while they searched the countryside for revolts and misdeeds. Many perished, some even allowed to commit suicide due to how harsh their task was. Number 18. The Bilderberg Group started in 1954, its primary goal to allow its members to promote understanding between the cultures in the USA and Western Europe, but without media misinterpretation, which would allow them to speak freely. It's usually held once a year in five-star hotels, and while its agenda and list of participants is open to the public, all matters discussed are kept secret. Nobody has ever spoken about what happens in these meetings. Number 17. The Masonic Knights Templar, a modern spin-off of Masonry. It shouldn't be confused with the original famous Knights Templar, a military religious group from the 12th century. Members of this Masonic Knights Templar take inspirations from that original group, borrowing ideas and symbols, but they're not directly related, nor do they claim to be. Number 16. The Black Hand, 1912. This is a group started in Serbia. Their mission? To ignite a war between Serbia and Austria in order to free themselves from Slavic nations. This group is famous because they tried to attack an Austrian official Franz Ferdinand, but they instead killed a Hungarian politician, causing Austria and Hungary to gang up on Serbia, which then developed into a little skirmish we like to call World War One. Number 15. Skull and Bones, 1833, a super secret college club that had a lot of famous people pass through the ranks. John Kerry was among them, along with William F. Buckley, Senator John Chaff, and as you can see in this photo, George W. Bush standing to the left of the clock. These college kids are inducted the year before their graduation, only those willing to sacrifice their independence for the order's unknown goal, theorized to be the running of America. According to a 1999 report, their club's value exceeded $4 million. Number 14. Hashashin, an order of Muslim assassins from the 13th century. Their super small amount of members focused on guerrilla tactics, espionage, sabotage, and political assassinations. They would plant a mole in buildings and organizations to attack only when needed. They would use stealth to cause intimidation, leaving knives on the pillows of high-ranking officials to warn them of their influence and strength. Ultimately, Mongols destroyed their group and they vanished serving as inspiration for games like Assassin's Creed. Number 13. The Fenians, 1858, an Irish nationalist organization that existed purely to eradicate British rule in Ireland. Although it was an Irish group, the members were American and they invaded British-occupied Canada to hold it hostage for Ireland's emancipation. It was financed by Irish immigrants, and though it didn't succeed in a lot of ways, it was still an important factor in the Confederation of Canada. Number 12. The Illuminati. Original members of the Enlightenment organization were called Illuminati. This spin-off group known as the Bavarian Illuminati was founded by Adam Weishaupt in 1776. The widespread belief is that the Illuminati wanted to overthrow organized religion. However, within 30 years, the group collapsed, and it's often thought that the Skull and Bones Club is a continuation of this ancient organization, to create a one-world government based on humanist and atheist principles. Number 11. The Order of the Golden Dawn, created by three guys thought to be a precursor to the Ordo Templi Orientis and a number of other occult organizations. The main focus revolved around magic, but their beliefs also cover ancient Egypt, Freemasonry, alchemy, theosophy, and Renaissance writings. Their papers were released detailing their rituals, and there's a good deal of controversy surrounding them. Number 10. The Thule Society, formed in Germany right after World War I, this group had a very Hitler opinion on Jews. It gained a lot of popularity over time, even gaining its own propaganda newspaper to spread Nazism. Eventually, Hitler himself took over this group and renamed it the Nazi Party. 
Number nine. The Order of Bull's Blood, 1834. It was a college fraternity at Rutgers University. Also shares a lot in common with Skull and Bones. Initiates were encouraged to prove themselves by pranking members of Princeton University. 1875. Bull's Blood stole Princeton's famous cannon. The Bull's Blood is considered the oldest active secret organization at Rutgers. Number eight. The Knights of the Golden Circle, a secret organization that flourished during the American Civil War. They originally sought the annexation of Mexico and West Indies, but eventually they switched to colonialism in support of the newly established Confederate government. They were guerrilla soldiers raiding Union strongholds in the West. Over the years, many public figures have been accused of being a knight, such as President Franklin Pierce. Number seven. Majestic 12, 1947, a secret committee of scientists, military leaders, and government suits with an objective, investigate UFO activity in the aftermath of Roswell and the supposed crash of a spacecraft in that desert. By the time documents appeared with members' names, all of them were dead, and nobody can safely answer what really happened with this group at Roswell, whether they found anything. Number six. The Freemasons, 1717. If you've seen the Simpsons Stonecutters, you'll get the general gist. A super secret club. The only way to become a Mason was to get recommended by a few different members. Must be 18 years old and of sound mind. The Masons used secret signs and handshakes to communicate and stylized clothing like aprons. Their meetings were rituals, references to the compass and the square shape. God referred to as the great architect of the universe. Number five. The Sons of Liberty, 1700s, a Robin Hood group, notorious acts for a noble cause. They used a lot of terrorism and corruption attacks, their belief being no taxation without representation. For instance, they would burn down British overtaxed tea ships at the Boston Tea Party, and every so often they would meet under an elm tree in Boston, which would come to be known as the Liberty Tree. Number four. The Club of Rome, 1968, a global think tank composed of intellectuals and decision makers. They act as a global catalyst of change, free of political, ideological, or business interest. But despite the noble intentions, most believe they would abuse their power to overthrow America and transform the world into 10 distinct kingdoms. Number three, the Vril Society. This is based on a 1871 novel titled The Coming Race. It described a subterranean master race and an energy form called the Vril. It was so well written at the time that a lot of people decided to believe it to be true, and a conspiracy began on the secret Vril Society living inside a hollow earth in underground tunnels beneath us. And rumors continue to this day. Number two, BT Paoli, 1600s. Apparently, this group, based in Sicily, was formed to oppose abuse of authority rampant at the time, to avenge wronged women and punish corrupt officials. Legend goes, they hid the sensitive nature of their work by dressing in black hooded cloaks, operating only at night for maximum stealth. They would capture a suspect, take them back to their underground shelter beneath the city of Palermo, and put them on trial. Number 1. The Ku Klux Klan. The KKK has been around for a long time, famous for their white supremacy, white nationalism, anti-immigration, and recently anti-communism, usually expressed via terrorism. They adopted their masks and robes because they would operate in small towns and thus did not want townspeople recognizing their members, which only added to the horrific drama that unfolded. That is it for this 20 list. Have a good one.